Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I've got an infinite series video. Suppose we have a real number p which is strictly greater than 1. We want to prove that this infinite series here, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the p, is less than infinity. So in other words, this guy here converges. Now usually you use the integral test to show this, but in this video I'm not going to be using any tests whatsoever. Let's get stuck in. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is introduce a partial sum notation to our infinite series. So sk is the sum from n equals 1 to k of 1 over n to the p. Now we want to show that this right hand side here uh, uh, converges as k goes to infinity. So of course that's equivalent to showing that sk, the sequence of sk's, uh, converges. Now we notice that sk is an increasing sequence because sk plus 1 is nothing but sk plus 1 over k plus 1 to the p. And 1 over k plus 1 to the p is a positive number. So that tells us that sk is an increasing sequence. So what we can do is if we can show that sk is bounded from above, so if the sequence of sk's is bounded from above, then because it's an increasing sequence, that tells us that it converges and that will solve our problem. Now there's a rigorous sort of theorem of that, but I'm not going to prove that in this video. But if you have an increasing sequence which is bounded from above, then it certainly converges. But we have to still show that this is bounded from above. The way we're going to do that is by considering s of 2k plus 1, so s of an odd number. Now this thing here is nothing but the sum from n equals 1 to 2k plus 1 of 1 over n to the p. But I'm going to take out the n equals 1 term because we notice that when n equals 1 we've got 1 over 1 to the p. And that's always going to be 1 regardless of what p is. So this is going to be 1 plus the sum from n equals 2 now to 2k, uh, so 2k plus 1 of 1 over n to the p. But now I want to write this guy here slightly differently. So it's going to be equal to, I've still got this 1 here. Now I'm going to write it as the sum from i equals 1 to k of 1 over 2i to the p plus 1 over 2i plus 1 to the p, like so. Because we notice when i equals 1, we've got 1 over 2 to the p, which is the first term in this series here. When i equals uh, 1 and we put it in this guy here, we get 1 over 3 to the p. That's going to correspond to n equals 3. And so on, all the way up to when i equals k, I get 1 over 2k to the p and 1 over 2k plus 1 to the p, which is the last term in this se uh, series here. So this guy is the same as this guy. Now we notice that 1 over 2i plus 1 to the p is strictly less than 1 over 2i to the p because 2i plus 1 is bigger than 2i. So that means 1 over 2i plus 1 must be less than 1 over 2i. And then, of course, raise both sides to the p. So this guy here I can say is less than 1 plus, now, the sum from i equals 1 to k of 2 over 2i to the p, like so. Okay, so we've written that s2k plus 1 is strictly less than 1 plus the sum from i equals 1 to k of 2 over 2i all raised to the p. Let me clear up the whiteboard and we'll continue. Okay, so we just showed that this inequality here holds. The first thing I want to do is kind of simplify this thing here. 2i all raised to the p is just 2 to the p times i to the p. But of course, 2 to the p and 2, they're just constants with respect to this summation. So I can bring them out. So I have a 2 over 2 to the p in front, which is just 2 to the 1 minus p out here, so 2 to the 1 minus p, like so, times the sum from i equals 1 to k of 1 over i to the p. Let me write that neatly, like so. But this thing here, the sum from i equals 1 to k of uh, 1 over i to the p, that by definition is just sk. So we get this guy here is equal to 1 over 2, well sorry, 1 plus 2 to the 1 minus p times s of k. So we have the s of 2k plus 1 is less than 1 plus 2 to the 1 minus p times sk. But of course, sk is strictly less than uh, uh, s2k plus 1 because we said that sk is an increasing sequence and this 2k plus 1 is, strict, is clearly bigger than k. So we have this thing here is less than 1 plus 2 to the 1 minus p, s of 2k plus 1, like so. Well, then we can just rearrange this. So bring this s uh, two, 2 to the 1 minus p, s2k plus 1 to this side. So I have 1 minus 2 to the 1 minus p, s of 2k plus 1 is strictly less than 1, like so, and then just divide both sides by 1 minus 2 to the 1 minus p, and notice, because uh, p is bigger than 1, that tells us 2 to the 1 minus p, is, so 1 minus p is a negative number, so it's strictly less than 0, so that means 2 to that power is going to be some number less than 1, so 1 minus some number less than 1 is going to be some, well, this thing here, sorry, is between 0 and 1, so 1 minus some number between 0 and 1 still remains between 0 and 1. So it's a positive number. So when I divide, that doesn't flip the inequality. So that tells me that s 
2k plus 1 is less than 1 over this guy here, 1 minus 2 to the 1 minus p. And now this kind of solves our problem because we've shown that all the odd terms are bounded from above by this thing here. But we've also got to consider the even terms as well. But we can go back to the fact that uh, sk is an increasing sequence. So if we take any even number, well then we know it's going to be less than the odd number that comes after it. So for example, s of 2m we know is going to be strictly less than s of 2m plus 1. But by this argument here, we've shown that s2k plus 1 is bounded from above by that number there, which I'm just going to call theta, say for now, um, just because it's smaller. Uh, S2k plus 1 is strictly less than theta, so S2m is less than S2m plus 1, and that is less than theta. So we get all the even terms are less than theta as well, so that means that all the terms are less than theta, and hence the sequence is bounded from above, and because it's increasing, it must converge as well, and that concludes our proof. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, proof video. I hope it's all made sense as well. You didn't need to use the integral test. We didn't need to use any Cauchy tests or thing, things like that. No tests required at all. Just the fact that we could bound SK from above and notice that it was increasing and that solved our problem for us. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.